Welcome to Micromerdic's Digital Education Series. This is FreeSpace 201, an advanced topic on the Gemini method for free space control. We're going to compare the approximate free space method to the Gemini free space method. In the approximate free space method, we monitor pressure in a pseudo balance tube. By monitoring the pressure in the blank tube, the pressure on the blank side is never equal to the pressure on the sample side. Because of this, we have two pressure measurements. Since we have two pressure measurements, we also have two error terms on the pseudo-blank method, on the approximate free space method. The approximate free space method, during the analysis, we're always calculating or estimating the free space in the sample tube. Now we can compare that to the Gemini method for free space control. In the Gemini method for free space control, we balance pressure on both sides, in both the blank and on the sample side. Since we're balancing pressure on both sides, the pressure on the blank side equals the pressure on the sample side. So we reduce any of the errors in calculating that are induced by calculating the free space. Since we're using this balance method, if we compare the free space errors for the two, the free space for the approximate method is about 20. The differential free space for the Gemini method is approximately 0.2. If we look at that ratio between the two, we see the error for the approximate method is about 100 times the error for the Gemini method. So it's very easy to distinguish the Gemini error between the approximate free space error. Thank you.